The framework programs for research and technological development, also called framework programs or abbreviated FP1 to FP7 with FP8 being named Horizon 2020 are funding programs created by the European Union, European Commission to support and foster research in the European Research Area era. The specific objectives and actions vary between funding periods. In FP6 and FP7 focus was still in technological research, in Horizon 2020 the focus is in innovation, delivering economic growth faster and delivering solutions to end users that are often governmental agencies. Background Conducting European research policies and implementing European research programs is an obligation under the Amsterdam Treaty, which includes a chapter on research and technological development. The programs are defined by Commission civil servants that are aided by various official advisory group and lobby groups e.g. to advise the European Commission on the overall strategy to be followed in carrying out the Information and Communication Technology Thematic Priority, the Information Society Technologies Advisory Group was set up. The framework programs The framework programs up until Framework Program 6 FP6 covered five-year periods, but from Framework Program 7 FP7 on, programs run for seven years. The framework programs, and their budgets in billions of euros, are presented in the table below. For FP1 FP5, program expenditures were made in European currency units, from FP6 onward budgets were in euros. The values presented below are in euros. Topic. Funding instruments Topic. FP6 and FP7 Framework Program 6 and 7 2002 to 2013 projects were generally funded through instruments, the most important of which included Integrating Project IP Medium to large sized collaborative research projects funded in FP6 and FP7. They are composed of a minimum of three partners coming from three countries from associated states but can join several tens of partners. The typical duration of such projects is three to five years but there is not a defined upper limit. The budget granted by the Commission can reach several tens of million euros, paid as a fraction of the actual costs spent by the participants. IPs specifically aim at fostering European competitiveness in basic research and applied science with a focus on addressing major needs in society, defined by the priority themes of the framework program. Like STREPS, see below, IPs ask for a strong participation of small or medium-sized enterprises (SMEs) to ascertain the translation of research results into commercially viable products or services. Network of excellence, no. Medium-sized research projects co-funded by the European Commission in FP6 and FP7. These projects are designed to strengthen scientific and technological excellence on a particular research topic through the durable integration of the research capacities of the participants. No projects require the minimum participation of three EU member nations, however, projects are usually expected to involve at least six countries. Projects are provided grants for a maximum of seven years. The budget granted by the Commission is €1 Euro minus 6 million per year depending upon the number of researchers involved. And no project should not strictly be considered as a research project, since its aim is not to conduct research, but rather to contribute to the clarification of the concepts in the covered field. Specific targeted research projects strep, Medium-sized research projects funded by the European Commission in the FP6 and FP7 funding programs. STREP projects involve a minimum of three partners coming from three countries from associated states. The typical duration of such projects is two to three years. In FP6, they generally involve between six and fifteen partners. The budget granted by the Commission is in average around €2 million. Euros. Note also the FP7 Joint Technology Initiatives in partnership with industry. Topic. Horizon 2020 Horizon 2020 is the eighth framework program funding research, technological development, and innovation. The program's name has been modified to Framework Program for Research and Innovation. 
The framework program is implemented by the European Commission, the executive body of the European Union, either by various internal directorate general DGs, such as the Directorate General for Research and Innovation DGRTD, or the Directorate General for Communications Networks, Content and Technology, or by executive agencies such as the Research Executive Agency RAE, the Executive Agency for SMEs EASME, or the ERC Executive Agency ERCEA. The framework program's objective is to complete the European Research Area era by coordinating national research policies and pulling research funding in some areas to avoid duplication. Horizon 2020 itself is seen as a policy instrument to implement other high-level policy initiatives of the European Union, such as Europe 2020 and Innovation Union. The program runs from 2014 to 20 and provides an estimated 80 billion euros of funding, an increase of 23% on the previous phase. Horizon 2020 provides grants to research and innovation projects through open and competitive calls for proposals. Legal entities from any country are eligible to submit project proposals to these calls. Participation from outside the European Union is explicitly encouraged. Participants from European Union member states and countries associated to Horizon 2020 are automatically funded. Associated countries have signed an association agreement for the purposes of this framework program. To date, 14 countries are associated to Horizon 2020. Switzerland is considered as «partly associated» due to the 2014 referendums held by Switzerland, which free movement of workers between Switzerland and the EU. Swiss organizations continue to be active participants in Horizon 2020, however, their participation is sometimes covered by national funding. Israel is an «associated country» to Horizon 2020. A central point of negotiation was funding to projects beyond the Green Line. Israel published its views in an appendix to the official documents. Horizon 2020 supports open access to research results in order to create greater efficiency, improve transparency and accelerate innovation. Horizon 2020 is also implementing the European Environmental Research and Innovation Policy, which is aimed at defining and turning into reality a transformative agenda for greening the economy and the society as a whole so as to achieve a truly sustainable development. The program consists of three main research areas that are called pillars. The first pillar, excellent science focuses on basic science. It has a budget of €24 billion. Euro. The second pillar is «industrial leadership», with a budget of €14 billion. Euro. It is managed by DG Enterprise and based on Europe 2020 and Innovation Union strategies. The third pillar funds potential solutions to social and economic problems. «Societal challenges» SC. The structure follows the previous framework program FP7 2007 to 13 to the level of the sub-programs under the pillars. In the industrial pillar the goal is to find ways to modernize European industries that have suffered from a fragmented European market. In societal challenges the goal is implementation of solutions less on technology development. Horizon 2020 will be succeeded by Horizon Europe. Topic Illustrative projects Topic Impetus Impetus Information Management Portal to enable the integration of unmanned systems is addressing the scientific analysis of information management requirements for a safe and efficient integration of unmanned aerial systems UAS in very low level airspace as a result, technologically and commercially feasible service solutions are elaborated and deployed in an experimental testing environment. The expected growth of future UAS movements in rural as well as urban areas indicates the need for traffic management solutions, ensuring a normal course of trouble-free operations of manned as well as unmanned aviation. Impetus contributes by investigating potential microservices that serve the airspace users' needs in all phases of the operation life cycle, from strategical planning over pre-flight, in-flight and post-flight data provision. Since information management is an infrastructural prerequisite of future unmanned traffic systems, the results support the European goal to gain in prosperity by means of the job and business opportunities of an emerging drone service market, ensuring a scalable, flexible, and cost efficient system. Impetus proposes the application of the function as a service paradigm and smart concepts. Concurrently, data quality and integrity is taken into account to guarantee a safe conduct of all operations. To fulfill these purposes, the project started to characterize data processes and services of vital importance for drone operations. 
Following the requirements derived from this preliminary studies, a smart UTM design is drafted in alignment with the U-Space concept, which describes a framework for a progressive implementation of services to enable complex drone operations with a high degree of automation to take place in all types of operational environments, including urban areas. Subsequently, specific microservices will be prototyped and laboratory scale tested in a server-less cloud-based environment. On behalf of the SESAR joint undertaking, impetus is carried out from 2017 to 2019 by a multinational consortium of key stakeholders in unmanned aviation Altitude Angel UK, Boeing Research and Technology Europe S, C Astral S, I, C R I D A S, I N E C O S, Jeppesen DA, and the Technical University of Darmstadt DA. Topic: <laughs> Open Air A network of open access repositories, archives and journals that support open access policies. The Open Air Consortium is a Horizon 2020 FP8 project, aimed to support the implementation of the EC and ERC open access policies. Its successor Open Air Plus is aimed at linking the aggregated research publications to the accompanying research and project information, datasets and author information. Open access to scientific peer-reviewed publications has evolved from a pilot project with limited scope in FP7 to an underlying principle in the Horizon 2020 funding scheme, obligatory for all H2020 funded projects. The goal is to make as much European funded research output as possible available to all, via the Open Air portal. The Zenodo Research Data Repository is a product of Open Air. The Open Air portal is online. Topic. Criticism of the programs The programs have been criticized on various grounds, such as actually diminishing Europe's industrial competitiveness and failing to deliver fundamental excellence and global economic competitiveness. In 2010, the Austrian Research Promotion Agency launched a petition calling for a simplification of administrative procedures, which attracted over 13,000 signatories. The numerous other criticisms of the petitioners were later distilled into a green paper. In Horizon 2020 there are significant simplifications, e.g. fewer funding rates increasing the funding rates of the large companies, less reporting, less auditing, shorter time from proposal to project kickoff. See also TOCSIN project